Hey there guys, what's up? Marvel here from Marvel's Tech Help, doing a quick video on how to use the PC wireless gaming receiver. This is a little uh, device that connects into your PC um, and that lets you connect your wireless Xbox 360 controller to the PC so then you can play video games on the PC. Um, and for those of you who are thinking, is this only for PC? Yes it is. It's only for um, Windows and I think Linux. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I know for a fact it does not work on Mac. Uh, you can probably get something that will work on Mac, but this uh, particular device does not work on Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throughout this video just show you guys the actual device, um, show you guys how to install it. I actually uninstalled it uh, just to show you some problems I went through and how to fix them. So I'm going to switch over to the camera and I'll show you guys the device and you know how to hook it up. And then I'll switch back to the desktop and show you guys from there. So see you in a few. Alright guys, so uh, as you can see, this little device here is the PC wireless uh, receiver. Um, as you can see, it's, all, it's no bigger than a, a small cell phone. Um, so you can see compared to my hand how big it is. Uh, it does have the USB, like I said. It is compatible with Windows 7. Don't know if you guys can actually see that. It, uh, it works by USB and it's wireless. Um, see, it's Xbox 360 only. So let's turn on the back. I'll show you from here. There are the instructions, what it's compatible with. I know you can't really read that. Um, but yeah, and here's the uh, cord in the back. It's actually pretty long. It's uh, something like, I don't know. It's, it's very long. I'll actually show you one that's open. And then you have the disc. So that's, um, that's it. So I'm actually going to take out the one that's already open. Uh, it's all undone. All right, see, here's the actual device itself. It has a little button that you hold so you can uh, so you can connect your um, wireless controller to it. And you can see the cord is actually pretty pretty long. I mean, that's uh you know long enough. <laughs> so um, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, USB thing itself. All right. Um, so yeah, you just connect this USB part into it. And you also take out the CD that comes with it and plug it in. Or, I'm sorry, not plug it in, but put it in the CD-ROM and fire it up. So I'll show you guys from the desktop um, from when you pl uh, put in the CD. Alright guys, so I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and put in the CD. And I'll show you guys, you know, step by step on actually how to install it and any problems that may occur. I'll show you guys how to get uh, through it and also some other problems I've had. Um, and I'll also show you some uh, loopholes and how to get through that one. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and put in the CD. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I did just put in the CD. Um, and and now all you got to click is hit this open uh, folder to view files. Just click it once. And a file will come up with uh, three folders. There's one that says PC wireless gaming, um, you know, user's manual, just, you know, how to use it and, you know, like what, what the buttons mean and stuff like that. Well, there's actually only one button. Um, there's PC drivers and then there's software. Um, I really didn't go into the, uh, to the, uh, drivers. Uh, I'm actually just looking around in it. You don't have to go into the drivers because it will install, the drivers will install to the correct format of your computer when you download it. So to actually install it, you have to go to software. And from software, you get these two setups. You get setup, well, that just says setup, and then there's also a setup uh, STB. So you're going to want to click on setup STB. And then it says, do you want to allow? And it'll say CD slash CD, uh, it says DVD. Just hit yes. And then from here, just hit I accept, because this is just the, you know, thank you for choosing Microsoft, blah, blah, blah. Hit do you, uh, do you agree? Hit yes, or next. And then it will install. I will pause the video because it does take a couple um, a couple minutes, so I don't want to waste any time. Uh, so, like I said, I'll pause the video and I'll be back when it's almost done. All right, guys. So it did go past one time, and now it's almost done. 
Uh, there we go. It says you have successfully installed the Microsoft uh, Xbox 360 accessory software. Press the guide, yada, yada, yada. So just go ahead and hit finish. And it'll take a couple seconds. And then uh, if you go ahead into your start menu, you will see a new program. Scroll down. And there it is. You can actually, you know, check for updates. That's the main thing you want to do. Check for updates, you know, every so often. Um, just so if your device stops working, that's most likely why. That was my reason why it wasn't working. Um, and if you have any other, you know, questions, uh, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll, uh, I'll be able to help you out because I, I have looked up a couple things in the user manual and online to actually know how to fix this. So it's pretty cool. You can go ahead and click on the little uh, Xbox thing itself. And uh, I don't know why it didn't pop up. All right, that's weird. Oh, duh, it's because it's not plugged in. I'm actually going to go ahead and go back to the camera and show you guys how to plug it in and like the buttons to actually hit how to connect it. So, uh, back to the camera. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, here's the little device, and then there's my uh, wireless 360 controller. Um, first note before I actually start this, I want you guys to know, turn off, uh, I'm sorry, unplug your Xbox, the power cord, so then it doesn't get confused. It has done that I spent at least, you guys know a probably about a half hour trying to figure out why the hell this isn't working, and then lo and behold, right, you know, by my TV, my Xbox keeps turning on and off. So, uh, you guys want to make sure that's off. So go ahead and take the USB part and just plug it right in. All right. Once that's plugged in, you will see that the actual uh, thing itself. I should turn it this way. That's the right way to have it. Um, this uh, thing will start to flash. I'm, all right. So that thing will flash. You're gonna want to wait until it goes solid green. All right. Now it's solid green. Basically, this is on. Uh, your first time. I already connected. The first time you want to do it, you want to turn on your controller. Hit the little receiver button right there, and hit this button too. This will start to flash, and this will do that little spinny thing with the uh, with the lights, and then it'll start blinking both of them at the same time, and then they will connect. So I'll just show you guys actually how to connect. Basically, mine's have already uh, there. That's as fast as it will do it. It will go seriously that fast every time. So I'll actually unplug it again. I'll actually, show you guys up close. Just side by side and there you go it's already connected and now what you can do is I don't know why that files up just give me a sec here alright so the cool thing that you can do is you can check your battery while you're playing a video game so say okay I'm playing a video game uh, such as DC Universe uh, I love that game uh, you just go ahead and hit the little uh, Xbox um, menu button and you'll get that little thing so click it a couple times you can if you look at it, it says my battery is at medium percent, and it will actually tell you, like it'll pop up while you're playing if it goes lower than like 20 percent. So that's pretty cool. I love that. I love that. So, all right. Uh, to finish up the video, I'm just gonna go back to the desktop. So back to the desktop. All right, guys. That's about it. So, um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, if you have any error messages or anything like that, just go ahead and either either send me a message on uh, over YouTube. Uh, to my email address, which is uh, marvelstechhelp at yahoo.com, or uh, just comment it on this video, and uh, that that's about it. So um, this has been Marvel from Marvel's Tech Help. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.